Hello beautiful humans. So welcome back. I'm Caroline and today I'm really excited about today's video because today I want to talk about skincare and basically what I use as a cosmetic nurse. So just kind of a couple rundowns. Um, I have dry skin. I was an Accutane patient back in the day. So I do still struggle with a little bit of acne. I'm 26 um, and my needs do change when it comes to like summer and winter. So right now it's February. So we're in kind of the middle of winter right now, just because I do find that I need more moisture in the winter months because it's drier um, as well as I have psoriasis, um, but that's kind of the rundown. I get psoriasis kind of in my temples, and what I use for that is I use a 4% hydrocortisone cream. You don't need anything fancy for that. Um, one of the biggest things I wanna talk about is I feel like with skincare, obviously different strokes for different folks, but one of my biggest things I wanna tell you guys is more is not always better, because when I first kind of got into aesthetics, I felt like I wanted to try everything, and my skin was just like, what are you doing to me? Why? Like, literally my skin was so cranky. So I feel like I've really, I've got a good, I've got a quick and easy skincare routine. It doesn't take me 20 minutes. Um, and yeah, so I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through my morning routine and then my night routine. So to start out in the mornings, I start out with a gentle cleanser. Right now I'm using the Neutrogena Ultra Gentle. Um, I really like this. I don't think it's imperative to invest in a cleanser. At the end of the day, you're washing your face. I, I recommend just make sure you get something that's non-comedogenic. So basically what that means is it doesn't have crap in it that's going to clog your skin clog your pores up this it's just a clear kind of gel based it doesn't dry me out it doesn't break me out it washes my face that's that's all what i needed to do uh, i had to put joe downstairs so after i wash my face with this in the mornings something to note i do use i use a clarisonic mia 2 um this is the one i use it's basically a motorized brush i really like this one because it's small um i change the head every three months. Sorry, this is kind of gross. I just used it. Um, and I use the sensitive skin brush just because I find that all the other brushes are a little too abrasive for my dry skin. But this is a really, really good combo. I also like Cetaphil. Um, I also, I like the Obagi Gentle Cleanser as well. If you want something a little bit nicer for lack of better words. Um, and so after I do that, I put on my Ormetic lip enhancing complex so this is basically a chapstick that's specifically made for patients with filler um once you start getting filler i do think you'll notice that your lips get more chapped um i love this stuff it's what i have on right now it's really i mean it's it's just like a clear lip balm um it's really comfortable keeps my lips from being really chapped i love it so after that, um, I put on my sunscreen, and this is probably my favorite skincare product I've ever used. This is this is a forever product. This is the Image sunscreen. Um, they have a hydrating as well as one for oily skin. I use the hydrating just because I, my skin is literally the Sahara Desert. Um, this stuff is awesome. It smells good. It feels good. It's not... It's not crazy thick, so it layers on. Like once you rub it in, it layers on really well under makeup. Um, but it doesn't. It doesn't have flashbacks, so it doesn't leave me looking whiter than I already am. Because Lord knows I'm see through. Um, as far as active ingredients, it's got 18% zinc oxide. It smells good. It's a joy to work with. It doesn't break me out. This, if you get, if you take anything from this video, get this sunscreen. It is awesome. I love Image products. Um, but again, the Image hydrating. I'm gonna try to get that to, to focus. Maybe. Anywho, I'll put screen grabs of all the different products if I can't get it to focus. So, and that's really, that's what I do for my morning routine. I don't, you know, in the mornings, I'm getting ready for work, I'm running to the gym, I'm not trying to do anything crazy. I do want to talk about two makeup products that have kind of been game changers for me. One of them is the IT Cosmetics Illuminating Full Coverage Cream. This is what I use as my foundation, and this stuff is great. I'm in the shade light. It's easy to put on. I use it with a big brush or I'll use my beauty blender. Um, it's easy. It's got a pump so it's clean. Um, 
it's got 50 SPF in it, but a big thing is you do need to make sure you're using a separate SPF from the one in your makeup. Um, I just find that sometimes these guys that say 50 SPF, that's if you're uh, reapplying it like every four hours. And I don't know anybody that's putting their foundation on every four hours. So that, and then also the Becca Cosmetics shimmering skin perfector this is like it makes you look do you see this like dewy glowy that it's all this this stuff is so pretty granted i love i love a dewy natural look whenever i'm looking at makeup i want something that's going to give me some like glow and granted this is so i'm sitting probably six feet from a window so this is pretty close to natural light but oh man it's so pretty like this stuff, this stuff is a game changer. I use the rose gold and I just do it on the back of my hand. Let me see if I can. That's what that looks like. And it's just, it's really, really pretty. Um, so yeah, so this, a little bit of mascara and I'm good to go. But no, both of those game changers. So let's go to night. Oh, and I wanted to talk about my deodorant. Um, I try to use a natural deodorant, but I'm also a sweaty human and don't want to smell bad. The Campari um, coconut oil deodorant, this stuff is awesome. I have the unscented. It's just like a little roller. Um, this is the best natural deodorant I've ever found. I've tried Tom's. I've tried a couple others and they don't work. I end up smelling bad. Like I do CrossFit. I have a decently physical job and like I don't want to smell bad. Um, so this is great. I'll leave it. I'll, I'm going to leave all these things down below. I use this morning and night, but no, that's fantastic. So, at the end of the day, I get home from work, I want to take my makeup off. This is, this is not fancy. This is the best thing ever. Pond's Cold Cream. I use this to take my makeup off. As you can see, this one's almost gone. What I do, I take dry, I wash my hands first, obviously. You always want to use clean hands. Dip my hands in, and then just, and this takes everything off. It takes my waterproof mascara off. It takes my foundation off. So and I think it's important to have a separate makeup removing step from your cleansing step. So I remove my makeup with the pawns and then I use this again. I go in with this guy again and wash my face with the Clarisonic. Um, I know that they have cheaper like other alternatives to the Clarisonic. I've never used any of those. I know that like Vanity Planet makes one. Um, I think Neutrogena makes one. I don't have any experience with them, but these two, but that's been a game changer for me. So after that, I clean my face. Um, after that, I go in with the, this is, this stuff's awesome. I go in with the Obagi Hydrate Lux. This is a fabulous moisturizer. It is so emollient. I can't get it open because I just put the sunscreen on. Um, but this stuff, it's super emollient, it, but it doesn't leave me feeling like weird and sticky. Um, I just use probably about that much. So, I mean, uh, this stuff is kind of expensive, but a jar of this will last me about four to six months, depending on how dry I've been. And I just do this all over my face. And guys, don't forget about your decollete down here. Cause I find a lot of patients that they've always taken care of this but they haven't taken care of this and this is aging a lot faster. So, you know, bring your sunscreen down, bring your moisturizer down. I integrate a retinol about three months out of the year. I like the Skin Medica 0.25. I'll leave the information on that down below. I do think retinol is a really important ingredient to incorporate into your skincare. The biggest thing is make sure that you're using sun protection because retinol make, can make you so incredibly sun sensitive. So that's kind of, that's what I use on a daily basis. And then just because I do have acne prone skin, I don't break out very often anymore, but when I do, it's right around my mouth. And what I found that I love for act for breakouts is the Mario Badescu drying lotion. This stuff is fantastic. What I do, I take a Q-tip, dip it in, um, and there's little like, I'm gonna try to get it to there's paint, like a pink paste down here. And so what you do is I take a Q-tip, dip it in, and I just spot treat wherever I have little spots, put it on at night and let it dry overnight. And what it does is it helps to bring any acne I have to a head and kind of speed up the healing time. Um, granted, these are not cystic breakout breakouts, they're more little whiteheads. As far as facial treatments that I do, so I do, I have Botox, which that's what makes my forehead shiny basically. So like this is as much movement as I have. Um, 
Other than that, I try to do a facial about once every six weeks. So a facial with microdermabrasion and a dermaplane. So basically what dermaplaning is, is they're actually shaving kind of the first layer of your skin off. Um, I'll leave some information about dermaplane down below. I really like it because it takes the peach fuzz off of my face. So it makes my makeup go on really well, as well as it, ma it makes you produce a little bit more oil. More oil. Um, so if you are oily, dermaplaning might not be a good option for you, but if you're dry like me, I cannot recommend it enough. It's so, so pretty. And on top of that, I also try to microneedle about once every six weeks. So whether I'm doing microneedling or microneedling with platelet-rich plasma, I try to do that about once every six weeks just because I find that that kind of helps resurface my skin and keeping everything kind of clear and pretty and all that kind of stuff. But yeah, I mean, that's kind of, that's my skincare routine. It's pretty straightforward. Um, I don't think more is better when it comes to skincare. Um, yeah, that's what I use as a cosmetic nurse. So if you guys have any questions about skincare or facial treatments, or if you're like, I saw this on Instagram, let me know. Um, let me know down below and we'll talk and we'll chat and yeah, I'm excited. All right, guys. Well, that's all I've got for you today. So I will see you in the next one. Don't forget to subscribe and like and click the bell and all that good stuff. And if you guys have any other questions, just let me know and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.